hi my lovelies welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing amazingly well so in today's video i'm going to be sharing my monthly favorites now this is going to be split into two parts there's going to be skincare and there's going to be perfume but before i start this video please make sure you are subscribed to my channel kindly give this video a thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is now i'm going to start with skincare i have quite a few items but i feel like i need to start with this one now i was away not away on youtube but i was not filming for about a month and a half and i didn't post for about two weeks and a bit and i was stressed guys i was stressed out and when i'm stressed out that is the only time i will ever get spots i don't even get spots like that when i'm on my menstrual cycle but when i'm stressed out i see spots coming up here and there on my skin so i discovered this brand and i think i've told you about this before and this is the um cause rx <laughs> i hope i'm pronouncing it right acne pimple um master patch now i have so many of it because i never want to run out anytime i buy this it is always sold out when i see it i purchase like 10 if i can because my daughter also uses it anytime you get a spot you take one you put it on there and it sounds really gross but you will literally see the pus come out of the pimple you remove it you can either put another one on or just wash your face and let it be there's no none of the pressing of the pimple you don't need to do any of that this works like magic another thing that you can do is you can wear makeup over it so if you put the pimple patch on your spot and you still want to wear makeup over your spot you can do that because this keeps your spots and your skin protected so i'll show you guys what it looks like it comes in different sizes um there's bigger ones there's smaller ones and it is literally like this so this is what it looks like i hope that's visible enough so you put that on i've used most of the tiny ones because the spots that i did get were quite small so this comes in like three three different sizes and it is amazing guys honestly if you can get this please get it i will have everything linked below i got mine from sephora but i know they have it on asos they've got it on boots um i think super drug does it as well you can get this in a lot of places but it is always sold out so like me if you see this get 10 because like spot it keeps the spots at bay so that is the first skincare item i highly recommend it the next items are going to be the things i use when i want to clean off my makeup i use the cerave micellar cleans cleansing water i think this is really really gentle on the skin if you have sensitive skin if you are someone that break out quite easily this is perfect i literally just put loads of it i literally wet the cutting pad and i use it to wipe my makeup off i also use the milky micellar cleansing water this i prefer because this gets my makeup off quicker than this does i think it's the milkiness of this it just kind of makes my makeup kind of glide off but i use them together so i start with this and i go with this and by that time my, my my skin is already looking clean and really really fresh so these two i highly recommend and then once i'm done then i wash my face with the paula's choice pore normalizing cleanser now this is my personal holy grail i finished this completely empty but before this was even empty i already had the backup this is great again for people with sensitive skin because i would not come and tell you guys something that i have not tried and tested many 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 times and this i've been using for at least two to three years now and i don't use anything else to wash my face i love this i used to use the simple face wash but for some reason i couldn't find this so i started to get this one i actually got this as a sample a few years back and ever since the sample was finished i kept repurchasing it over and over again so once i'm done with that i would use um any moisturizer i use cocoa butter I use serene just like a standard um face moisturizer and then i go on with my spf i have a video coming up 
either this week or next week monday look out for that where i'm going to be showing how i do my makeup <laughs> and i hope you guys will love that video because i have a lot of um makeup tips and um makeup ideas i just kind of make it simple i simplify how you have how you can do your makeup because like i tell you guys i'm not i don't cake and bake and contour this and that it's just not my, it's just not me um but anyway i go ahead and i use my spf this is my favorite by far i have tried so many spfs but this one is perfection in a bottle guys trust me take a screenshot I'm gonna have it linked down below as well this is great for everybody this is not gonna leave you with a white cast this is not oily this is incredible I'm not gonna talk more about it because I still have a video on it sometime next week so that is the La Roche Posay um, 50 plus SPF amazing so the next item that I discovered is this um, Walida skin food now, if you have very, very dry, 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 dry skin, <laughs> you need this. You need this in your life. This is my elbow grease. When my elbow is ashy or where the back of my, um, my ankle is ashy, this is it. This is what I use. I've seen people use this as a makeup base because it is quite, quite oily and it kind of gives you that dewy look. But I do not put this on my face. I think I'm just going to look like a grease ball and I don't want that. So I don't use it on my face. But you can do it if you wanted to because everything here is safe. It's amazing. I use this on my kids. My son has extra dry skin. It also has, um, we well, used to have ex eczema. And this is amazing for his skin. So if you're looking for something to really moisturize your feet, your elbow, just areas of your body that gets super, super dry, this is what you need. And this, com this company is like 100 years old. They've been around for a very, very long time. So I highly recommend this. So that is Skin Food Rich Intensive Skin Care for Face and Body for Dry and Very Rough Skin. <laughs> it's amazing honestly i love it so the next item is one i've been waiting for for months like i see i've seen so many people talk about it but it wasn't available in the uk but the moment i saw this on i think it was sephora or asos i had to get it this has been in my collection for maybe two weeks at most and look how much i've used i will say this though when it dispenses a lot comes out so you have to be careful not to kind of like overdo it it's quite generous and i think that's a marketing strategy because then you're gonna run out of this and go and buy it again and this is expensive this is i think this is almost 70 pounds 65 or 70 and that's a lot but i love oils i love oils i love so the product so i don't mind splurging out on this and i will not be using this anyhow because it's very very expensive it is lovely it smells like a caramel pistachio type scent very similar to the boom boom cream and the boom boom body body spray which is the 62 they all smell the same this is fantastic it is moisturizing uh, apparently this is meant to help you firm up certain parts of your body it's a it's a lie it doesn't firm anything it just smells good it moisturizes and it's definitely one that i would recommend but it is a bit of coins to spend on a body oil but for me if you are like a body oil lover definitely get your nose on this one so the next item guys oh my god this has to be the best oil for your hair point blank period this is so freaking good i can't let me just show you this is by a company called bread i believe they are based in the us this is a black owned brand and this air oil guys it says it's everyday hair gloss which forms as a lip gloss for your hair so this is basically this is air gloss that is not going to be heavy on your hair 
and it's specifically made for curly and coily hair which i love now anyone can use this um even if you've got straight hair wavy hair anyone can use this um i love it i am super obsessed with it this smells like strawberry sweets this smells so delicious you could almost drink it a little goes a long way it smells absolutely absolutely divine if there's any hair product that you want to get get it it's available in the uk the us not sure if it's available in canada and other places but i know that uk and us can definitely get it but i will link it down below for you guys so that is the air oil by bread so now on to the fragrances i'm not going to spend too much time talking about them because i've spoken about these perfumes time and time and time again and i'm just going to share with you the one i've been wearing the most we are finally in spring in the uk like the weather is quite nice um for now and i have been loving my delina situation right here so i do have the body wash which is more or less finished but i've got another one coming this is so fragrant and it smells very luxurious and very rich i am truly obsessed with this brand and their perfumes oh so amazing so that is the body wash it's a must have um and then i've got the body cream right here it's so so lovely i feel like the packaging um by performs the mali are just killing it um, so this is completely done. I think this is my third one. Completely, completely finished. I have my new one right here that I'm going to pop open and I'm going to get another one because um, once you open this, it can only last you for 12 months and it expires. So I will definitely probably finish using my new one for the spring and summer. Then I'll buy another one next year. But this is really lovely another one that's fragrant doesn't really moisturize that well you may need a little bit of oil to boost the moisturization but it smells amazing and of course delina rose lychee vanilla can't get enough of this this is my favorite floral perfume of all time i absolutely adore it it lasts long it smells good the hype is real the hype is well deserved and i can never get enough of delina i just can't i think it's beautiful next perfume i've been loving is spiritui's double vanilla by Guerlain. now this is a spicy and sweet vanilla scent it smells very very luxurious it smells rich it's not your average or standard vanilla this gets me lots of compliments it doesn't project that well and that's like vanilla scents in general a lot of them don't project unless they're super super spicy like say Lune feline or baby cat those perfumes project but this one it kind of stays within your bubble especially after about two hours or so but the the luxuriousness that this is giving is really giving i really love it so that is sdv by golan next perfume is peregrina by famine now this is so so beautiful and i still get the same question over and over again is it the same as the blue bottle yes it is this was a limited edition for valentine's day when this first came out so i opted to get the uh, red bottle because it was limited edition but the scent inside the bottles are the same this is caramel this is a little bit woody to me it's a floral sweet gourmand smelling um, perfume that has great longevity Probably one of my most complimented perfumes in my collection. Definitely in the top three. People love the way this smells. It's my favorite perfume from Thamine. I think it's just a masterpiece. I love it. So yeah, that is Peregrina by Thamine. The next perfume I've been loving is Love Don't Be Shy Extreme. I always, always pull for this during the spring. I love how light this feels. This kind of gives me that orange blossom together with rose. Um, it's a little bit vanillic. It is such a beautiful perfume. This is a less gourmand um, Love Don't Be Like Love Don't Be Shy is quite gourmand. This is not as gourmand. This is more floral. It's really, really likable. I think it's more likable than the original. I absolutely love it. The longevity on this is incredible. For me, a lot of Killian's fragrances do last on me. With the exception of Princess by Killian. But I don't think that's really made to be that beast mode powerful scent but a lot of killian perfumes do last on me and this one 
definitely lasts long definitely smells good and i adore it so that is love don't be shy extreme by Killian. the next perfume is chance or tundra by chanel this is my favorite chanel perfume another one that i always pull for in the spring and summer this is a fruity floral more on the fruity side it's quite citrus in the opening it opens up with queens which i normally dislike in perfumes but it seems to work really well in this one it's fresh it's bright a little floral it doesn't have the greatest longevity but i prefer it to the other perfume the other perfume has something that bugs me i don't know what it is but i prefer the other toilet i will always recommend it the difference in the look is that the other toilet has the plastic top and the other perfume has the silver shining shiny gold um not gold silver top that is the difference in terms of looks but in terms of scent i think this is better i think most people do gravitate towards this one over the other perfume um like i said longevity is not beast mode but you are going to get at least five hours from this you need to over spray though especially if you're going out from morning till night you need to spray loads or just take a decant with you so you can top up throughout the day so that is chance or tundra by chanel the next perfume on my list is lost cherry by tom ford now this is one of my favorite perfumes by tom ford i think tom ford's prices are really i feel like they're ridiculous but i love the way their perfume smell <laughs> i love this one i love the new one that they brought out i think it's back there somewhere I forgot the name but lost cherry is a cherry boozy this lovely and unique i think a lot of um brands that have done cherry seems to kind of look at this one and copy it i feel like a lot of brands have copied the same profile of lush cherry and i understand why they've done that because this is a very very unique um, cherry scent that doesn't smell juvenile because you think a cherry perfume might smell like something childish but this is far from it in my opinion this is definitely one that guys like i always get compliments when i wear this perfume yes the longevity is not great that's why i got myself the 100 mil um because if i had the 50 mil i know i would have run out of it by now the 100 mil is quite expensive but i find that sometimes tk max has it on their website so check tk max every now and again it comes back in stock and i feel like you will get your money's worth if you get it over there so keep checking tk max if they have it at the moment i will link it for you guys but yeah i don't need to say any more about um, lost cherry a lot of people think the cherry is lost i used to think the cherry was lost but the cherry isn't lost anymore the old perfume just doesn't last as long as i would like it to but i carry a decan with me when i go out so i can top up throughout the day so that is lost cherry by tom ford the next perfume on my list is that the next yeah i've got one more perfume after this so i've got um cinema by ysl this is an oldie but a goodie it's such a good smelling um quality designer perfume one of the best out there in my opinion is still available a lot of perfumes that are ogs are on their way out or discontinued this is still going strong and that's for a reason it is an amazing perfume it smells quite citrusy but sweet citrusy it's like it smells like clementine it has that burst of citruses it is quite sweet it's fruity a little bit ambery it's so wonderful to smell this it brings back such amazing memories they don't make designer perfumes like this no more and i hope this has not been reformulated because i've not tried the new well i've not tried it in recent times because i've had this bottle for I've had this bottle for a long time and the scent it just keeps getting better and better and better this is the perfect scent for spring and summer i love this and i will always have it in my collection so that is cinema by ysl and last but not least is my solaris by pen Halligans. this is new to my collection and i'm just beaming from here to here because i absolutely love this you guys know how much i love neroli blanc intense and i've told you guys about that perfume lots of you guys have that perfume in your collection now and you love it if you are looking for the best orange blossom perfume definitely check that one out but this is also very very similar to it this is a quality oh my god i personally feel that pen do 
quality smelling perfumes a lot of people said it doesn't last and i get that some of their perfumes don't last there are so many brands out there that don't have long lasting perfumes but we are talking scent profile here we're not talking longevity the scent profile on this is incredible if you like neroli ylang ylang um, I think this has some woody facets to it. I smell some sandalwood, which gives it a creamy aspect. Oh my god. This is a yellow floral. Oh, it smells so good. It's fresh. It's slightly sweet. It's definitely spring and summer in a bottle. If you want to get any Penhaligon's perfume right now in this moment, this is stamped and approved by me. You can go ahead and blind buy. I went into Harrods the other day and I asked if they had this in stock. It was sold out. And this is pretty new. Selfridges, it was sold out. So everybody literally loves this. This is a unisex scent. It smells amazing. So if you like Neroli Blanc Intense and you can't get it, maybe you don't live where you can buy it, you can get this one instead. Trust me, you would absolutely love this perfume um yeah there's nothing more i need to say nothing more i need to say it's a beautiful scent it's a long lasting perfume on me perfumes are subjective so don't come for me if it doesn't last on you but it does last on me my husband wears this as well and it lasts on him as well so that is solaris by pen halligan so last but not least is um shoes now i love shoes i collect shoes not the way not not the way i collect perfumes i won't say i collect perfumes i think if i like a perfume i will buy it if i can afford it in the moment but shoes are something that i spend money on i don't spend money on bags guys i don't you will not see me wearing a louis vuitton or a prada i think they're crap but that's just my personal opinion don't come for me if you like louis vuitton and prada bags i just don't think they are worth it there's so many fakes out there can't really tell the fakes from the real so i don't want to spend my money on those kind of items there are some that are lovely don't get me wrong but if i was gonna get an expensive bag it will not be any of those brands just because they just know they don't do it for me personally but shoes Prada shoes, um, um, Louis Vuitton shoes, you name it, shoes, I'm that girl. I will spend money on sneakers that are really expensive, stupidly expensive. Yes, I will spend money on it because I like my shoes or my heels to look amazing. Now, I went shopping with my husband a lit little while ago and I tried on these shoes and like it looks like an auntie shoe i'm not gonna lie because i'm nigerian yeah and a lot of my nigerian aunties they used to wear these shoes to all their parties but I, I i didn't know i was going to like it but anyway this is the shoes these are the shoes now this is by the brand either it's mac mac or match and match i don't know but these are the shoes now they do give anti vibes like look how po this pointy heel i know and it also gives wedding vibes but the way i've dressed this it is stunning and the shine on these this the swarovski crystals on these absolutely stunning guys it looks beautiful on my feet it is comfortable this is a four inch heel i think it is so comfortable i can walk in this all day long and i don't like discomfort i wear trainers all the all the time but this i can wear i can wear this with jeans i can wear this with leggings and a t-shirt i can wear this with a midi dress a maxi dress but a maxi dress that stops on my ankle i can wear i can style this anywhere and anyhow I don't know if they have it anymore but if they do and you're interested i will link it for you or i'll just link the old match and match mac and mac um shoes that i've seen i've seen loads on net -Porte. i've seen someone selling rv nichols i've seen some at selfridges harrods because sale season are about to start so i think if you're gonna get these shoes these are the best time to get them these are really stunning guys and they are comfortable and I've been wearing them a whole lot um, in the month of May. So my lovelies, that is it for this video. Let me know what you've been loving in the month of May. It could be perfumes, 
beauty products it could be um, TV shows it could be anything that you've been loving even food you can talk about food you can tell me what you've been loving in the month of May I'm really really interested to know I look forward to reading all of your comments thank you so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye